In order to keep my code as valid as possible, I need to add a, an alternate text element to all of, or the property rather, to all of these results. And when I look at it, basically what that image is showing is the uh, picture of the user, right? So I could just use the user's name as the alt ID on there. Perfect, nice and easy. So let me go back to my string that I'm formatting over here to pull in an image and I have the alt element right here so in between these double quotes I have to add the uh, this dot from dot I guess would be name okay that's not gonna be hard um, so add a space in between those double quotes I'll put a single quote a plus plus and another single quote just to get it ready for the variable, I'm going to wedge in between those two pluses. And I'll just copy the this.from.id and I'll go this.from.name. Let me verify that's right. Yep. This, which is already bringing me into data, then from.name. Well, let's see this script in action. Okay, well, there we go. And uh, if you wanted to just double check that all as well in that, I think, uh, where do we go? Uh, images dot, um, view image information right here. I'm using the web developer plugin. And then when I look at it, I see that each one of these images, uh, it's given its source and its alt attribute. Uh, pretty cool. Look at that. Given the names of everybody who, who's in there. Very nice.